Hey there, it's Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to day 20 of my Latvian challenge, Four Words a Day. Today I'm going to teach you something a little challenging. And I have had inspirations for these sentences. I have been thinking what you would like to learn. And during the past couple of days I taught you really simple sentences, but today those sentences will be a little challenging. I think you can do it, that's why. So I'll talk a little bit what has served as an inspiration for me. Number one, of course, is Winter Olympic Games. As I'm watching those athletes struggling through their way to their dream and seeing how much determination they have and it takes so much nerves and sometimes those nerves give in. But most of the time I admire how cool they are. And also the sad news that I read about Latvia that made me thinking and I had also joined some conversations on Facebook and I have been observing how Latvian people react to what has happened or mainly to the news and what I think about it all is wait a minute we need to stay cool we need to calm down and we need to think rationally and these are the thoughts that I would like to teach you to say in Latvian namely I'll teach you how to say something like this let's stay cool let's think rationally in Latvian the wording will be a little different but that's interesting you'll understand how Latvian peoples express their thoughts or ideas so I hope you'll enjoy my lesson today all right let's start the lesson so today you are going to learn how to say let's stay cool or Latvians would say let's maintain cool mind and the second sentence let's think rationally or Latvians would say let's think with our heads and this is how it sounds in Latvian saglabāsim vēsu prātu domāsim ar galvu long words right but you can do it because we are going to do it word by word like always starting from the end but what is the rhythm of these two sentences the rhythm is like this yes no 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 yes no yes no yes no 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 yes no I'll say it again yes no 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 yes no yes no yes no 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 yes no and one more time yes no 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 yes no yes no yes no 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 yes no I think it sits in your heads already doesn't it so once more the first sentence was saglabāsim vēsu prātu domāsim ar galvu and the first sentence would literally translate as let's maintain cool mind in English we would normally say just let's stay cool saglabāsim vēsu prātu let's maintain cool minds and the second sentence domāsim ar galvu also sounds strange if translated literally into English it means let's think with our heads or let's think with a head of course you always think with a head but what we really mean is let's think rationally and not emotionally I just thought these would be nice and challenging phrases to try to pronounce in Latvian for a change so let's start from the end and the last sentence was domāsim ar galvu you already know the word galva es protu stāvēt uz galvas I can stand on my head right and you know the word ar because you learned es situ ritmu ar abām rokām so galva means a head here you see the ending is different and the word ar means with so I'd like us to practice saying ar galvu these two words together and then we'll learn the first word of this sentence so ar 
Galvo, you see that the stress is not on the word R. The stress is on the first syllable of the word Galvo. And we pronounce it like this. Ar Galvo. Ar Galvo. Ar Galvo. I think that you are ready to pronounce it together with me twice. Let's do it. Ar Galvo. And once more. Ar Galvo. And now let's switch to the first word, duomasim, duomasim. Let's start from the last syllable of this word. And the last syllable is sim, sim. It's easy, right? Let's say it together twice, sim, sim. And the syllable that stands before the syllable sim is ma, with the long vowel a, ah, ma. Let's say it together twice. Ma. Once more. Ma. And these two syllables together would be ma sim. Ma sim. Let's say it together twice. Ma sim. Ma sim. And the first syllable is dua. Dua with a diphthong ua. Dua. Let's say it together twice. Dua. Dua. Very well. Now the word. Dua ma sim. I'll pronounce it once more. Dua ma sim. And now I'd like you to pronounce it together with me twice. Dua ma sim. Once more. Dua ma sim. Now what was the rhythm? It was yes, no, no, right? So once more the word is Dua ma sim. And once more, maybe you can pronounce it together with me. Dua ma sim. Very well. So the sentence all together was Dua ma sim ar galvo. I'll pronounce it once more. Listen carefully because after that I'd like you to pronounce it together with me. So listen. Dua ma sim ar galvo. Can we pronounce it together? Let's do it. Dua ma sim ar galvo. Let's do it again. Dua ma sim ar galvo. And once more. Dua ma sim ar galvo. I think you can do it now. So we can switch to the first sentence. Saglabasim vasu. Prato. The first word is really long, but we'll start with the last word in the sentence. Prato, which means mind. So the word is Prato. Prato. You already hear that the rhythm is yes, no. Prato. There is that long vowel A ah, in the first syllable. I'll pronounce it once more, and after that I'd like you to pronounce it together with me twice. Prato. And now let's say it together. Prato. And once more. Prato. And again, it means mind. Now the word that stands before the word prato. Vaso. Vaso. And you already hear that the rhythm is yes, no. Vaso. Yes, no. And here is the long vowel a, uh, which is pronounced broad in this word. Vaso. Let's say it together. Vaso. Once more. Vaso. And maybe once more. Vaso. Very well. I'd like us to now say together these two words that we just studied. Vaso prato. I'll say it once more and after that I think we can say them together. Vaso prato. Yes, no. Yes, no. I'll repeat it once more. Vaso prato. And now I think we can say them together. Let's do it twice. Vaso prato. And once more. Vaso prato. 
and this means cool mind. But now let's go to that really long word, which was saglabasim. There are four syllables in this word. So, of course, we'll start from the end. And the last syllable is the same as in the word duamasim. Sim. Sim. The syllable is the syllable that adds that meaning of let's, let's do it, let's do something together, let's think, let's maintain. This is what this ending sim does. So once more, we pronounce it sim. Let's pronounce it together twice. Sim. Sim. And the syllable that stands before the syllable sim is ba, ba, with a long vowel a. Ah. Let's say it together twice. Ba. Once more. Ba. And now the two syllables together would be ba sim. Let's say them together a couple of times. Ba sim. Ba sim. Very good. Now the syllable that stands before the syllable ba, and that is gla. Gla with the short a. Uh. Let's pronounce it together twice. Gla. Once more, gla. And now these three syllables together would be gla ba sim. Gla ba sim. Can we do it together? We should try. Let's do it. Gla ba sim. Once more, gla ba sim. Very well. And finally, the first syllable, which actually is a prefix, because gla ba sim means let's keep. And when we have that prefix sa, then we have the meaning of this word changed to let's maintain. So the first syllable is sa. Very simple. We can say it together, I think. Let's do it. Sa. And once more, sa. Very good. And now the word. Sa glaba sim. Four syllables, but I'm sure you can do it. Let's say it. Saglabasim. I think we need to say it a couple more times. Saglabasim. And once more. Saglabasim. Very well. And just to remind you, the rhythm was yes, no, no, no. Saglabasim. Of course, you can hear a slight stress on the third syllable, ba, but that stress should not be bigger than the stress on the first syllable. Saglabasim. Saglabasim. And now the sentence together. Saglabasim vasu prātu. Saglabasim vasu prātu. Once more. Saglabasim vasu prātu. Wonderful. And now I'll remind you what the first sentence was. Duamāsim ar galvu. Once more. Duamāsim ar galvu. And the first sentence. Saglabāsim vasu prātu. Once more. Saglabāsim vasu prātu. And finally, the both sentences together. Saglabāsim vasu prātu. Duamāsim ar galvu. And now I'll pronounce them in a normal native Latvian's rhythm and pace. Saglabāsim vēsu prātu, domāsim ar galvu. This is the pace that you should strive for. I'll repeat it. Maybe you can try pronouncing it together with me. Saglabāsim vēsu prātu, domāsim ar galvu. And once more. Saglabāsim vēsu prātu, domāsim ar galvu. Wonderful. This was challenging, I know. But I can imagine how proud you feel about yourself having done this. I would be very happy if you 
recorded you saying this and posted it on this page or in my group Learn with LZB. But I'll see you tomorrow with the next four words. All right, how was it? Saglabāsim vēsu prātu, domāsim ar galvu. That's a good idea, isn't it? All right, I'll say atā uzredzēšanos till tomorrow. Līdz rītdienai.